Hey guys, it's kindergarten video time. Time to teach a lesson. What is heart-based intelligence? It'd be nice if you could spell properly. Well, it's a good question. What is heart-based intelligence? My God, I have a feeling that's what we're here to learn. No shit, Sherlock. I know, right? No shit, Sherlock. Boy, I haven't heard that expression in a long time. I don't know what it is. What is heart-based intelligence, you crazy people? What is heart-based intelligence, damn it? Ernie Shell's got some girl on the side. All of a sudden, maybe she's forefront and center. I don't know. I hope to God she's good and not one of these weirdo, weirdo, weirdos, you know? The guy's got to be his own handler. It's very hard to be your own handler when you're used to being handled. It's hard to take control when you're used to being controlled, you know? Sometimes people get so comfortable being controlled because if you're controlled, you don't have to take responsibility for anything, right? If you're controlled, it's their fault, right? In a way, if you, you could look at it that way. Well, it's one way to get out of anything. You say, oh, my controller, my handler made me do it. They, they mind controlled me. Well, how are you gonna break out? How are you gonna break free? Or you just get a better handler who cares about you, hopefully. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, yeah, it's tough. See, he's looking for a girlfriend in a world where he knows he's going to get hit on by lots of crazy weirdo people. But what if this were true? Wait a second. Hold the presses. What if it were true that all the bad guys were gone as of yesterday? Just think about that for a second. You know what I mean? What were if what if it were true that all the demons, it's not, they're not all gone, but say as of yesterday, they were all gone. And all that was left was us with our own selves mixed up, but no extra demons. You know, black, uh, black, black label. What was it that thing he was gonna go work for? That whiskey, whiskey? I don't like the idea of him selling whiskey. That's just my personal thing, but who am I? Who gives a shit about me? Who cares what I think? Only I care what I think. And a few other people, but not too many, but a few, you know, like 50. <laughs> the 50 best people in the world though. And they're only the top ones that uh, don't put me down for having less subs than you. I haven't been doing. So he's a famous YouTuber, huh? Now he's a semi well-known YouTuber. Okay. Okay, then go for that. Don't work for these companies. Don't work for these com. Don't sign contracts. Just sign contracts with yourself on YouTube and Vimeo. V-I-M-E-O. I made a lot of money on Vimeo. I had to take down my whole fucking thing because of the harassment of universal trolls, okay? My fucking ex and his fucking stupid fucking super rich wife who had more money than me and no responsibility to other than him, no responsibilities other than him and trying to steal my daughter from me and bring her over to there when I did all the work of bringing her into this world and I did all the work of nursing her and raising her and loving her up and making her this special, beautiful, angel, amazing child that she is and everybody wants her. Why? Because she came from me and I made sure she was a beautiful, special, gorgeous thing, creature, lovely, beautiful soul. You know, somebody's got to do it. You think ditching the scene makes your kids awesome? No, it don't. Nope, nope, no, no. I raised her myself with my loving hand. With or without him, I did it myself. I did not, I did not leave my post as mother of the child and the only parent that was consistent. No, never. Even if she thought whatever she thought, you know. I stuck it out. I stuck it through, want me or not. 17-year-old angsty teenage rage or not, not rage, but you know what I mean. I am sticking it out. I'm not going to desert my post. And I did not desert my post. In fact, it cost me a lot of fucking money to not desert, desert my post when I had posts on two, two coasts. I had posts on two coasts. I had posts on two opposing coasts. And I had to, I had to navigate those posts on two opposing coasts. One on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. So many posts. 
And I not only had to take care of my daughter to get her through high school, the youngest one, after already getting successfully getting the first two off into the world, but I had my old mom and in your 50s, 40s, 50s. That's when you're stuck in the middle, baby. You got to take care of everyone. You ain't going to have your own life till later. Some people have their own life sooner. You know what I mean? Like, Ernie Shell has no responsibilities right now other than to himself, really, and to whomever he's, you know, made a, established a relationship with. Same with Jimmy. Same with me if I want to be whatever. You know, because sometimes you change tribes. Now, I'm supposed to be getting my tribe you know, finding my tribe. I keep getting those cards that, um, you know, finally people who are my people. And I do have people. I have people. I have people. I have people. I just don't know who half of them are. <laughs> I, but they know who I am. I know who, I know the names. I mean, really, it's crazy because I don't know half the people. Why do I have sock accounts? Oh, come on. Give me a break. You have to. Sometimes if you have children that you're protecting, you know. So it's, you know, it's really too bad because I used to love sharing my life and my, my, um, my stu stuff with my kids online and on, on, on Facebook. Facebook was, I was the queen of Facebook for a while there. I was one of the original LA's making Facebook cool for my age group. We were like the funnest. We were all throwing parties, connecting with each other, you know, our building our business through Facebook. Facebook was so fun. I absolutely adored Facebook. The ones who ruined Facebook for me. The ones who bullied me out of Facebook was the Tear, Tear, Terry Joyce. I hate to say it because I feel bad, but it's true. She, she, she claims I went out of my way to bully her as if I have time for that. I'm really just somebody who likes to go around supporting people. That's just, to, I'm just trained to, um, I've trained myself to just put out good energy even when I get shit on. You know, there's been times when I've had trolls that um, I got them to turn around and love me. That even though they were designed to hate me, they first, first they hated me, okay? Then I inspired them to love me. I did it. Do you know that that's not easy, okay? It's much easier to just get in the ring and start, you know, get in the, the sandbox and start throwing sand at each other. But um, there were times, I was like, I know that is not what I'm supposed to do. I know that it's easy to do that. I can clearly see and understand that naturally, you know, um, getting, in the, getting in the mud ring and throwing mud and slinging mud and dirt like all these other people, I, very tempting. I can do it too. But I, through lots of things, figured out and realized that I am not going to get my Empress codes activated. If I'm going to be mucking around in the mud with the low, low, low of the low, 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 okay? I am only going to get my Empress Codes activated. And I want to do it now, this lifetime. I'm not going to fuck around. We're not waiting around anymore, okay? We're doing it. It's done. I'm not here to screw around. This is my, this is the big last lifetime doing all the shit. I'm doing it all in one. Damn it. Yes, I am. I had, to, I had to resolve a lot of fucking karma in this lifetime. And I, I have done. It's exhausting. It's exhausting, man. I am so tired. I can't even... Um, I'm exhausted. You know, Ernie was talking about emotional stress and, and trauma. I, absolutely. That's what I have. But can you really take anybody to court if the courts are fucking rigged? To go against certain bloodlines, Okay. Not everybody likes everybody. But what is really there to cause the problems? Is, is it really, is Kim Gogan right about the evil being gone? You know, she claimed, I don't know about Lucifer, but apparently, you know, Marduk, I don't know, maybe Thoth. I don't know, these other beings. I don't know about Lucifer. He's a real being, by the way. If you don't, if you don't know that he's a real being, you ain't caught up, kid. These are real beings, Okay. Are they, are they good or are they bad? Well, they're pretty much bad in the Black Mirror Matrix of Hell. You know, I've always talked about the same shit. It's not, I'm not, I haven't changed my shit. It's just the people have somewhat changed. Max Spears, he's dead. How can I focus on him? I did everything I could to milk his information and put it out there. And I did my work with Max. I still do that same work everywhere I can find it. It's just that the, the schemes and plans change. You got to roll with it. Summer Wells matters. 
I'm not over it because she's not, that's not resolved. This is a big case and you don't get tired of this case. Not until this is fucking found out. We're not going to get tired of this case. Sorry, but you don't get tired of this. This is the key to what the fuck's been going on on the whole planet. Not just one kid. All of these children. All of us. Okay? It's us. All of us. This is not a joke. This is not a sideline job where you got to save the children once in a while. No. This is what we do all fucking day inside our heart-based, intelligent fucking biocomputer bodies. Don't forget you have a biocomputer. You got to figure out how to teach. Learn it. Use it. Don't abuse it. Figure out how to be a good human. It's, 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 uh, see, God, what a test for Ernie. If he's, he's a good soul, right? Born into this family that has so many dark, um, darknesses. All the curses and spells on me are broken. All the curses and spells and on me are broken. All the curses and spells on me are broken. All the curses and spells on me are broken. All the curses and spells on me are broken. All the curses and spells on me are broken. All the curses and spells on me are broken. All the curses and spells on me are broken. Get the fuck away from me, you goddamn curses and spells. Anybody who puts curses and spells immediately gets them back on them. Just trying to be nice. All right, I'll be back. Love ya.